as with all things, now we're going to make this harder. So let's do a little review first. How do we solve 5x minus 4x plus 12 equals 17? Well, step one, combine like terms. So 5x minus 4x is just 1x, but we just write x. And everything else comes down. Number two, we'll look at the multiplication or division. And it would appear the teacher set this up. Knucklehead did not set it up right to actually have to do that step. So we don't have to do it. Number three is add or subtract. Or I should say addition or subtraction. In this case, we do need to do that. Subtract 12, x equals five. And step four, do not forget, especially with these multiple step equations, check. Five times five is 25, minus 20 is five. Five plus 12 is 17, beautiful. So let's add a step. And that's distribute away any parentheses first, which applies most of the time, but not always. So that would go right here. So I shouldn't have numbered those, but hey, life goes on. So let's distribute away parentheses. 7x plus 2x plus 12 equals 39. And we're back where we started. Combine like terms. 9x plus 12 equals 39. Subtract 12. 9x equals, I believe that's 27. Divide by 9. x equals 3. Put it back in, and I'm actually going to write this one out. 7 times 3 plus 2 times 3 plus 6 equals 39. 21 plus 18 equals 39. 21 plus 18 is indeed 39. Not too bad, but sometimes you can make your life a little bit easier by writing out your steps next to the equation while you work, um, pardon me, by avoiding distributing. So I'm gonna rewrite this down here. 3 halves times 3x plus 5 equals negative 24. I'm also gonna write it out up here because this way we'll do it what I'll call the challenging way, and then we'll do it the easier way. So we distribute, that's what we were told to do. It's 9 halves x plus 15 halves equals negative 24. Well, when I see fractions, I want to get rid of them, so I'm going to multiply everything by 2. I'll get 9x plus 15 equals negative 48. Subtract 15 from both sides. I get 9x equals negative 63. Divide by 9, divide by 9. x equals negative 7. I'm going to check that in a minute. Let's see what happens over here first. Now, notice in this step, I multiplied to get rid of my fractions. Why not do that right up front? Let's do it even better. Let's multiply by 2 thirds on both sides. Remember, commutative property says we can do that. I'll put a 1 down here, even though I don't want to. So these all cancel away, and that gets rid of the parentheses. Over here, I get negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. Minus 5, minus 5. 3x equals negative 21. Divide by 3, divide by 3. x equals negative 7. So, looks like we did it right. Got the same answer two very different ways. And that's fine. If you like one way over the other, get an answer. Speed is not as important as getting the correct answer, but we do need to check it. So I'm just going to plug it in up here. 3 times negative 7 plus 5. That's negative 21 plus 5 is negative 16. 3 halves times negative 16. 1, negative 8. 3 times negative 8 does equal negative 24. Let's check, check. Always check your work. It takes an extra... 10 or 15 seconds, 
saves a lot of problems. Another step, like I said, will constantly get more and more complicated, although it's about as complicated as we're going to get for solving equations in this unit. Um, we're going to do other types of math problems as soon as we can. But what if you have uh, variables on both sides? Well, you just do like you did before. Treat them like a whole variable. And I like to move my variables to the left. And I like to move my constants to the right. So 7, negative 7, cancel. 4x, negative 4x, cancel. Negative 12x equals negative 24. Now, if you had chose to move all the variables to the right, you should get the same answer. Cancel. 1, 2, x equals 2, 7 minus 8 times 2, negative 16, plus 7 is negative 9, and 4 times 2 is 8, minus 17 is negative 9, checks. So, here we go, try a big ugly problem, 9x minus 5 equals 1 fourth, 16x plus 60, now we'll do this twice, I already told you, hey, why not just multiply everything? By 4, before we distribute, so I'll put it right here, 4 times, and over here, 4 times. Got to put parentheses because we're multiplying everything. Get 36x minus 20 equals 16x plus 60 minus 16x plus 20. 20x equals 80. Divide by 20, divide by 20. X equals 4. And I am going to check that, just not right away. Now, if you had looked, you would have seen that 1 fourth actually divides 16 and 60 evenly. So you could have done that one first. I'll put this in a different color. 9X minus 5 equals 1 fourth times 16X plus 1 fourth times 60. Well, that cancels to 4, and that cancels to 15. So we get 4x plus 15. Now things look very different than the other side, but that's fine. It should work out. Math is perfect. If you do it right, it will always work out. Cancel, 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 cancel. 5x equals 20. Divide by 5, divide by 5. 1, 4 x equals 4. And I leave it up to you to determine which way you would consider it easier. Plug it back in. 9 times 4 is 36 minus 5 is 31. And 16 times 4 is 64 plus 60 is 124. I need a calculator for this. 124 divided by 4 is 31. So it looks like I made a mistake somewhere, probably in my math. 16 times 4 plus 60 124 divided by 4. This is definitely 31, which is what I got the first time, and I just didn't realize it. Like I said, always check your work. A couple example problems down here at the bottom. Going to be fairly quick about this. I'm actually going to move this over to the right. Plus 7, plus 7. 27 equals 3c, divide by 3, c equals 9, 20 plus 9 is 29, 4 times 9 is 36, minus 7 is 29, checks. Now I made a note here, watch out for number 2, let's see what happens, 6z minus 2 equals 6z minus 8. Subtract 6z from both sides, add 2 to both sides, and we have a lot of things canceling here. We end up saying 0 equals negative 6. What? Is that possible? No, then there is no solution. And that happens. Quite often there is no solution to problems. However, if we had gotten an answer of 0 equals 0, if we'd gotten that answer, we would say all solutions. Actually, we can just say an infinite number of solutions. And we will come back to this and talk about it, especially when we get into graphing.
Two more examples. Can distribute first. I'm going to subtract 5a from both sides since I don't mind working with negatives. Minus 3 from both sides. I get negative 9a equals negative 18. Divide by negative 9. Divide by negative 9. 1, 2a equals 2. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. 2 minus 3 is negative 1 times 5 is negative 5, so it checks. I feel like I didn't check my work up here. Well, I can't. There's no solution. I'm going to distribute because I know 3 goes into 6 and 3 goes into 15. So 8y minus 6 equals, I'll just write this out. Once, twice, once. Five times, 8y minus 6 equals 4y plus 10 minus 4y plus 6, getting sloppy, minus 4y, 4y equals 16, divide by 4, divide by 4, y equals 4. Check it. 8 times 4 is 32. Minus 6 is 26. 6 times 4 is 24. Plus 15. Yes, I'm using my calculator. 39 times 2 divided by 3 is 26. Never a bad idea to use your calculator. Check. That's it. Good luck.